Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Ferguson. Today we're going to be working on Skills Unit 5, Lesson 15. And by the end of this lesson today, you should be able to say short vowel sounds, say letter sounds, read the tricky words, and point and read from left to right. We're going to start today by reviewing our short vowel sounds. What short vowel is this? That's right, I. And to remember the I sound, you know what to do? That's right. Place your finger below your lips and say eh. So let's do that three times. Are you ready? Eh, eh, eh. Perfect. And this short vowel is, that's right, eh. And the way to remember the eh sound is by pretending not to hear. So let's do that three times. Are you ready? Eh, eh, eh. Good. And this short vowel is, that's right, eh. And to remember the eh sound, we can pretend not to, we can pretend to cry. So let's do that three times. You ready? Eh, eh, eh. Good. And this short vowel is, that's right, uh. And to remember the uh sound, we can raise our arms above our head just like this. So let's do that three times. Are you ready? Eh, eh, eh. Good. And this short vowel is, that's right, ah. And to remember the ah sound, we can open our mouth, take the pointer finger, and circle around your opened mouth. Let's do that three times. Are you ready? Ah, ah, ah. Perfect. Okay, let's review the sounds that we've learned this year. You ready? Let's say them together. Mm, ah, t, d. Ah, k, g, e, n, p, s, f, v, z, p, e, b, o, r, a. W, d, y, x, k. Nice job with those sounds. All right, let's review our tricky words. Let's say them together. One, two, three, the. A and blue, yellow, look. Excellent job with those tricky words. So we're gonna play a game. Are you ready to play? So for this game, I'm going to say a sound and your job is to point to the correct sound that you see on the screen. All right, so you're going to see two sounds, you see two? I'm going to say one and I want you to point to the one that I say. So the first one is, Mm. Where's the m mm sound? That's right. There it is. The next sound is b. Where is the b sound? That's right. B. All right. The next sound is k. Where's the k? You got it. K. You're so smart. The next one is n, n. Where's the n sound? You got it, great job. The next sound is eh, eh. Where's the eh sound? That's right, very good. The next sound is uh. Where's the uh sound? There it is, uh, good job. And the next sound is w, w. Where's the w sound? There it is, great job. The next one is j. Where's the j sound? That's right, j, excellent job. And the last one is y, y. Where's the y sound? 
You got it. Yeah. Nice job. Round of applause. I can't believe how many sounds we've learned. So today we're going to be reading Ox and Man again. So over here, what is this part of the book called? Do you remember? That's right. It is the front cover. This is the front cover of book. And down there by the purple arrow, it's pointing to some words. What is that? That's right. It's the title of the book. Those words are the title. And the title of this book is Ox and Man. Great job. And now my purple arrow moved over there on the animal, the ox. Tell me, what does an ox do? That's right. Yes, exactly. The ox is used to do different kinds of work, like pulling a wagon or a cart or plowing fields on a farm. And it is kind of like a cow. Very good. Okay, so again, I'm going to read it first, and then we're going to read it together. So listen carefully. Ox ran and ran. Jin ran at him. But Ox ran on. Kim had him. But Ox ran on. Min fed Ox. And led him. And sat on him. All right. It's time to read together. Are you ready? But before we read, let's go over a few things. So what is this called? You see the long line here. All of these words make up a what? That's right, a sentence. So this is a sentence. And sentences always start with what? Look at the green arrow and what did I circle? That's right, they always start with an uppercase letter and they always end in, look at the red arrow with the circle. That's right, they always end in a punctuation and this punctuation is called a period. That's right, the little dot at the end is called a period. It shows where the sentence stops. So let's read together, are you ready? Ox ran and ran. Jin ran at him and there's that comma when we see a comma what do we do that's right we take a short pause or a short break and then we jump back into reading but ox ran on kim had him but ox ran on min fed ox and led him and sat on him i can't believe how good we are at reading this story pat yourselves on the back excellent reading i'm so proud So now I'm going to ask you a couple questions about the story. And if you need to, it's okay to go back. You can rewind the video, go back and look for the answer. We can always go back in the story. So the question is, does the ox look happy at the end of the story? Does it look happy at the end of the story? That's right, yes, ox looks happy. How can you tell Ox was happy? How can you tell? Yes, Ox was not running. Remember, he kept running and running and running and running and running. But when he ate and his belly got full, he didn't run. He's walking now. He's very happy. Great job. Now I need you to head over to Skills Unit 5, Lesson 15, Google Forms, and fill it out.
Great job today, everyone. Keep up the good work. I'm so proud of you.